please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. No, please. Hello and welcome back to part two of Game of Thrones. I may actually pause it in a minute and put subtitles on if that's of any help to anybody out there. Part 1 is available as well on my channel. Okay, so now it looks like we've got a little bit of freedom now. Okay. Here, pig. What's this? Blood. Fresh. Fresh blood. Now, is that pig's blood? Hmm, ominous music. Something's afoot. Is that a village on fire? What have we got here? Nothing here. No. Why are the carts overturned? Have these guys been attacked? That's father's car. Uh oh. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Think it may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Don't you... Oh my god. You motherfuckers. I'm just like fucking... He looks like he's got a ball head. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. For killing my pig. Is that so? And my father. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Fucking Get ball head. Off my land. This is uh, Bolton land now, um, boy. Sparta. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> oh, oh. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Um, fuck you! Fuck. You. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Oh shit. Uh, I think we'll go for the axe. Oh shit, you've got to be quick, man. Damn. Split open like the pig. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Uh, I'm gonna go for the rake, it's longer. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? We're gonna be <coughs> fucking dead in a minute. <coughs> oh, yeah! Shitting it now, aren't you, ballhead? <coughs> Oh, my God. 
Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. No, please. Your Fucking killed my you pig and my father. That much I promise. Fucking poor head. Your head's coming off that shoulders. I am Para. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. There will be blood. Rivers of blood. Mark my words. I'll kill the men who did this. They will taste my steel. Quite violent, quite gory. Love it. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, lovely. <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Grabbing me knob by looks of it. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. 
to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Oh, got maggots in it. Lovely. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. You guys, uh, let me know if you would prefer me to put subtitles on. I shall do that for the uh, for the next part. The Ironwood Grove. An Ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. What are we here? Mirror. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Why is Taron Lannister? We want to see him eventually. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. Both our best warrior by far. Both killed. Was it our fault? We did shout at him when he was, um... Mm -hmm. The horse I fell on him. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah. What have you got here? Touch it. Oh. This might help. Oh, so there's an inventory system as well, then. It's not just point and click then, it looks like we do have, actually have an inventory and a few other little bits as you can see here on the side. Uh, what's this? Look, let's have a look at it first. What is it? Oh, lovely. So I presume we're going to take some more, are we? Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. I guess. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Mm. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who's the new lord of this house, then, if he's if they're dead? Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Hmm, not me, then. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. Mm. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. More frightening is your beard is made of wood. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Well, Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... 
I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. His loot? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. I actually really like the art style on the hair and Garrett the graphics. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester's sword. Ethan huh? should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our Lord. Then what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the Lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Go I'd have done the same, as any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe. 
Beyond the reach of the Boltons. Not the You're wall. sending him to the wall. Oh my god. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. That settles it then. Oh my god, they're sending me to the wall. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, those of you who don't know what the wall is. I'm sure many of you have seen the actual uh, TV show. So we're going to come to the end in a minute. It comes to the end of this cutscene. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course, I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. The North will Remember, never fall. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Wait! Be safe. That will bring us nicely to the end of part two. Thanks for watching. More to come in part three. Give us a like and a subscribe if you want to see some more. I may put the subtitles on as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.